Fucking boring. It's good to me. Good morning. Welcome to another brew day. Hopefully the wind's not too much. Let's go inside for five minutes. Um gonna make a porter today. I haven't made one before. Well I have made one for a bit years ago. Um why am I making a porter? It's not coming up to winter or anything like that. Um I think a lot of people seem to make it for the deepest, darkest of winter and uh um, the reason I'm making it is you just can't really get it in the shops. I think there's about two brands you can get in there. I think Young's and maybe one or two others, but you have to go to a specialist shop to get it. And then when you get it, maybe you're not quite as overwhelmed as you would would think you would be. And if you can make it yourself, you can make a much better beer, I'm, I'm sure, most, in most cases. Um, got a recipe, got the water boiling, got... What else have we got? Got a bit of time as well. <laughs> so, let me show you what we got. So here we have, this is the Brown Meister 20 litre. This is the one that's got the, the funny old jacket on it, which doesn't really do much, but there we are. Um, I've got uh, 3.9 kilograms of Otter. What's the 700 for? Aha, uh -huh, and there's 700 of the owner Marisotha. Um, I got 300 grams of crystal malt, that's uh, a 400 EBC one from uh, Warminster, so it's nice and chocolatey. And, and also, I've got uh, 200 grams of chocolate malt. Uh, in, the, in the pot already, I've got uh, some phosphoric acid, uh, this is 70%, I think, even though it doesn't say it. But yeah, I've got some phosphoric acid, that's about four mil into the pot. The camper tablet. I'm going to be bittering it up with some nuggets, just for general purpose. Bittering hop, nothing special. Um, let's come back to me again. So, brew day wise, it's going to be um, I'm going to bring the water up to 60 centigrade, mash in, bring it up to 67, mash for an hour at 67, mash out at 75. But bring it up to the boil, boil it for 60 minutes with the hops chill it down, stick it in the fermenter, ferment for 20 odd, well, two weeks. Maybe we might even be out of this. Um, the old virus might be gone by then. We'll see, won't we? Um, and that's about it. Come along with me with my brew day. Um, it's just about half past 11, so hopefully we can have it all in the bag by five. I say hopefully, but uh, we'll see, won't we? All right, let's go along. <laughs> So all mashed in. Let's get all the um, let's get a few of the things in. Uh, hopefully we don't. All I need to do really is just go to size now. Just put the phone down a second. So we are all mashed in. I've got the top in there just to talk about the water. Um, I've got uh, 20 litres of water in here and I'm going to stick another 7 litres in, in at the end. Right, let's tell it the malt's filled in. There we go. And then we'll get the, the basket all kind of. The filter will rise up with the water being pumped up. There we are. Ooh, nice colour, isn't it? There you go. I'll leave that for a while. I'll obviously clear out a bit more. Got quite a lot of I've got the dregs of the bag in here, so we might have quite a high um, high ABV beer, which will be a problem really. All right, let's leave that for a while and come back soon. So just ramping up to the seventy-five centigrade mash out. So 
so that colour's good. Looks nice, doesn't it? it smells nice. Nice sweet multi flavour as ever. Um, yeah, we're doing well. All right, come back to you soon. So just taking a, uh, well, just finished off the mash and uh, I've uh, taken a gravity reading and how much I've collected. So I collected about 27.3 litres. Um, where I do, oop, don't do that. The way I do that is I just empty the water, the, the water out until it gets to a, a marker where I know the 20, 25 litre marker, and then I just measure measure back in what I've um, um, what I've collected. Um, I've got an efficiency of about eighty percent, which is good. Um, there's a slight problem. I I guesstimated that I was going to be doing something like um, on. My beer smith calculation, I thought I was going to do 20, 25 litres. Uh, so I, I built up the grain bill based on 25 litres, and this is for an English porter. Uh, but my, I've got, I've got a separate spreadsheet which I use to calculate the, uh, ca calculate all the boil offs and stuff like that. Like, you know, and I can just estimate other things outside of beer smith on that. And on that one, I estimated that I wanted to do something like 21 litres. Um, so about it's about a margin of about four liters of uh, of beer there. Um, consequently, that was actually pushed. If I'm going to go for that kind of lower level, uh, I'm going to be looking at more of an American porter, which wouldn't be that bad because I am using um, American hops for this, so that's not such a big issue. Um, so so um, I think we're going to go midway between an English and American porter eventually. Um, that's on the kind of BJCP style, but it's just going to be beer, isn't it, really, at the end of the day. I'm not trying to hit any, any competitions here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go around that area. Hopefully, um, so I may have actually have one or two litres left over once I put the beer into my corner cave to just bottle up, which um, is fine. So, yeah, let's just carry on. I'll show you what's going on out here. On out here. Um, brew day as such. Anyway, um, here's the design. Um, I'm just rehydrating the Nelson yeast. Um, originally, we were looking for looking at the English porter, but I had to. Uh, I actually did originally estimate on doing several like not 25 liters. No, no, not 25 liters. I estimated 21 liters originally here, like, but uh, as I said, this. Uh, thing here was uh, that was 25 before I just changed it to 21 so we, we've actually jumped up above the English porter style but if we go for the American porter which is that one there you can see the uh, figures all then jump down to the right white ball part so we're happy between the American and the English porter um, brewed session wise um, the uh, mash was good, about eighty percent, which is nice to see. Um, the uh, into the fermenter, it's going to be about twenty-four liters. Uh, estimated OG was about ten fifty-seven, but I've got ten fifty-one, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, the beer hasn't boiled off that much, um, so obviously I would have been down to about twenty-one, and if I had built to ten fifty-seven. So a, a brew house efficiency of about 76 compared to what I was expected was 75, which I think is just down to the, um, what's it called, I was thinking, it's just down to the, obviously not boiling quite as rigorously. Uh, estimated final gravity, we talked about 1014 there. If we're down 1014, we'd be looking at just under five percent, which is not too bad. Um, I was looking for something like four point eight percent. So, uh, so if it comes down a little bit more, it goes a bit drier. Let's have a look. If it comes down to about maybe ten eleven. We'd we'll be looking at go take away about five point one. So it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to ferment now. Let's fermentation here's wrong. I'm going to ferment about eighteen centigrade for uh, a couple of weeks. Um, 
springs here, or well, kind of almost, it's freezing today, but I have just been pressure washing the backyard here, my little scrubby brush thing. Um, the water's just dripping off here. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I've got most of obviously the water, the liquor out of it, but I'm gonna pop down the recycling box in a second. Um, oh, this is slightly wet, but it's all nice and dry. There's the hops ready to go in. Oh, pup's been deactivated. Water's about 88 centigrade. And let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's just got to the ball now. It smells very nice. I'm give it a few seconds. Go tidy some of this stuff away. Uh, any other stuff going on? It's a pressure washer. Hops are down here. Looks like my missus has been chopping my hop back for me, which I didn't want her to do, but um, Anyway, this is going to come up this year, and it's not going to go up there. I've been told not allowed to do that, so it's going to come up here, go over there, and go from there up to the normal place. Um, but that'll be in this in the, in autumn. I'll be doing that if autumn ever comes. I've been uh, mulching my my rosemary plant with old old hops from last year. Look, these are the hops. So that will keep any of the little uh, stop all the weeds growing there and hopefully this rose may be a bit happier. We've even got some parsley growing here which is quite cute. Looks of parsley actually, so I've got some parsley growing over here. Got some chives, some uh, mint going up and also I've got some, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Got some thyme out here as well, which I just bought from the shop. So we're going to shove that in the ground as well. So we're just hitting the um, uh, first pair of hops. We'll get those in there. It's looking very nice as ever. Um, so yeah, that's the first and the only addition hops. So we change the lens slightly. There we go. So we'll. Uh, those in there. I'll have to get a spoon in a second, but that's it. We'll leave that for 60 minutes and then we'll be done. So, uh, just cool it down, um, get some hot water. <coughs> uh, so we're down to 75 now. And that's the final product. Uh, I have to take a, uh, take a reading in a second, but I've uh, got my fermenter ready, I've got, uh, got the fridge down to the right temperature, down to about 18 centigrade, so it's all coming on quite well. Oh, nice and warm, so I've washed all the other stuff, all the other stuff's nice and clean. What time is it, shall we say? We started about 20 past 11, so we're looking at uh, 3 o'clock. So I'm not doing too bad, so we're about 3 hours and 20 minutes or 3 and a half hours down the line. So hopefully we can get what's done soon. Yeah, so um, let's get a bit wider. Uh, fermenter's ready to go. I've got my, um, my new little gadget there for the blow off tube. It's a, uh, a Plato, Plato thing. Anyway, when I do a crash chill, that won't obviously do any sucking back. Got a bit of water here. Got the uh, chiller just rinsed off now. That's all happy to go. I let the beer stand a little bit. So that says it's down to about 20 degrees. So uh, let's let it stand a little bit so that all the all shit drops to the bottom. Uh, we're looking good. That's our first brew day in since well well towards the end of December and I'm very happy. Right. And that's a wrap. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and uh, please leave in the comments. Um, yeah. That's it. Bye. Bye.